we can for the studio we only got one type okay where are the facing usually you can just show on the same page you can see from here this is on the stack number six so the stack number six is actually just facing the um orchard side a uh, well hill the, the other side facing the north so for the layout of this studio is quite straightforward and easy to present this one doesn't have any balcony okay so when we come in from the from the entrance then you straight away have the kitchens then you straight to the dining and the, the bathroom is right in front and the living hall and the bedroom that's it very simple for this layout and with the size of 398 and then this is i think is one of the most sought after by all our buyers which means why because the quantum could be low the site is really really affordable and then it's very straightforward this is suitable for a young couple or yuppies that to stay here okay take note of this size type a1 from actually for all the level the size will be the same huh? except for the penthouse I mean for the loft unit, sorry, for the loft unit, this is slightly bigger, which is 614 square feet. So every level is the same. It doesn't have a choice that any level you can choose whether with balcony or without balcony, because for this studio, every level is without balcony. Okay. So for this one, it's very simple and clear. So it's from this small little, sorry, for this small little side plan, you can see the facing is here. Stack number six okay so next we come to the other type i'm going to explain to you if you have any question you can just type in the chat group and the text box and ask we will try to answer you okay next we have will be the one bedroom plus study type a2s this is a four five two square feet okay so this is with the stack four stack four is over here also the same facing with our studio so for this layout when we come in from the door, main door, we have the kitchens and then we have the bathroom on your right hand side when you walk in and then go straight with the living and dining for this 452, which is on the third floor, fourth floor, eighth floor, 10th floor, 15, 16, 21 and 22. For this facing, for this layout, it doesn't come with any balcony. Beside that, the rest will be the same for the rest other with the balcony. Okay, for this study or the they call it the flexi room here is be a bit different from what we see in our show flat, but it's very efficient. So when you come into the master bedroom, before you go to the bathroom, you can go through this way. So you can use up when you after you study or after you do your work here, you want to go to the bed. Actually, it's in another side. You not really disturb your spouse or disturb your your family when they are resting in the bedroom. So in order to go to the bathroom, you can either go straight from this study area or you can go in from the kitchen. Okay. So for the type A2S, we have another one is A2B. So you look at the 2S and 2B, B stand for balcony. So for this balcony one, and there's another type is A2SL. L stand for love. Huh? So with the balcony one, the size is slightly bigger, which is 495. Compared just now, we see one will be 452. Okay. So th this is the same stack, is stack 14. So in the stack 14, which floor they have is all here. I don't read it out. You can read yourself. So it's quite difficult to remember what which floor have the balcony, which floor is which, which floor doesn't have. So always refer back here if your our prospect or our client want to know which floor has it or doesn't has it. Okay. So for this floor plan is about the same with just now the one we have without the balcony one. And then if you take note of this, the dotted line is talking about where the loft will start and where the loft will be inclusive is over here. So the ceiling height, some of you already asked and then we got the answer is 4.75 for the ceiling height in living and dining area. Okay, for the loft unit. So basically, the rest of the layout is exactly the same, okay, compared to the just now we see with balcony or without balcony only. So this is a stack 04. Then we come to the next layout we have is A3S. The size also the same, 452. 
So for this one, actually, it's a show flat unit. If you remember, some of us already visited. And then you come in for the entrance. Then you had a study area outside, which means it's totally outside from the bedroom. The plus point is it's quiet. The not so plus point, or it's not so plus point, it's different. It's totally different from another. Both are nice. Okay. So your kitchens, your living hall over here, master room, all in very good layout and good size. So we come to the master bathroom, is you can same, you can come from the kitchens or you can come straight from the bedroom. Okay, so the facing just now I mentioned already, they are the same facing, is facing north, facing the orchard for the stack five. Okay, and then this one, always you see the difference. Huh? The only changes is with the balcony or without the balcony. The size of the difference is 452 or 495. This is easy to memorize. So the rest, you want to see whether which one got balcony or not balcony, you look at this here. These are, these are the information which level have. Is, there is no fixed formula to remember uh, for any, any bedroom type, they are on which floor they have a balcony. It's not, it's, it's a quite random one. So you try to refer back here, okay? So the loft unit is on 36 and then the size is 646 six square feet, okay? So over here, we zoom in a little bit. Okay, zoom in a little bit more. So we have stack 04 and stack 05 is the one plus study and stack 06 is the studio. So facing orchard, facing the north, only this three stack is the smaller one. And then we have also one, another one stack is facing the south, facing the River Valley Road area, this is, which I'm going to show you shortly. So you can see that if we are printing out in a hard copy manner, um, for those people, they like to flip, they like to compare in paper, they just take and read themselves. Uh. Actually, we not no need to explain so much from the screen. So really, it's very, very um, individual preference. Uh. Some they like to look at paper, some they look at, like to you present in a slide. Okay, so when you come to the next one, a one plus study, again, the size is four, five, two, okay? A4S, if you take note, it's A4S. And then with the balcony, 495, loft 646. So for, <coughs> sorry. Give me a minute, huh? Okay, stack 12, just now, stack 12, we are talking about stack 12 now. Okay, stack 12. So just now I show you the long slide, I'll come back to the correct one. The um, stack 12, we had a one plus study, then we had a A4S and A4SB with the balcony, and this is with the loft one. So this one will be similar to the first stack just now we see. The layout is you walk in here, then you have a bathroom, and then from the master bedroom will be here, they'll go through the flexi or study in the center. So basically, with when our client want to choose between all the one plus study, basically the layout you just have two to choose, and another time you have to decide whether with a balcony or without balcony or they want to have a loft. Loft will be totally different. Huh? Loft will be slightly bigger. So once they choose whatever they like, either the mid floor or low floor or high floor, then that's it. So if all the one plus study is not available already, next we may propose them to look at a bigger size. You can book a two-bedroom classic or premium. So I already shared with you uh, on the studio and the one-bedroom types. Uh, but because we are a high-rise building, so if let's say your clients, you know, with a budget to uh, maybe they can stretch a little bit, they can also uh, consider looking at types. So um, if you look at the site map, the ones that are in light blue, uh, you will you notice that these are the two-bedroom classic, which are two-bed, one bath, stack three, stack seven, stack uh, 13, and stack uh, 14. Whereas for two, I only have two facings and very, very beautiful views as well. 
So let's take a look at the two bedroom classic. This is the smallest bedroom type, stack 13. So if your clients, they prefer to uh, have it removed, they can actually opt out to have it removed. Whereas uh, by default, it will actually be provided. Okay. Then the next uh, layout type will be the 614 square feet. 614, we have two types. Later, I'll show you the difference between, uh, even though they are the same size, but uh, layout-wise, they are actually very, very different. Same thing, they have a loft unit. And um, the entryway, right, is actually wider. So you actually have uh, enough place for extra storage as well. You have a semi-enclosed kitchen and a very decent sized living and dining area. So over here, right, the layout is very efficient. It's very regular. There's no odd shapes as well. And for this big, uh, for this stack 14, because it's on the corner unit, you actually get a window in your bathroom. So you have natural ventilation as well. If you ask me what is the difference between the uh, 603 and 614, main difference will be the entryway and the AC latch, which allows the um, window to be built in the kitchen. So this one is actually facing the city uh, towards the south view. Okay. Then for the other, um, remember earlier I mentioned that 614, you have two uh, layouts, two different layouts of the same size. So for this stack, is stack three. It is actually an L-shaped kitchen instead. Some people may not want the enclosed kitchen, the semi-enclosed kitchen. Uh, they may prefer just having a regular open concept kitchen. So this one will suit them very much because it actually maximizes the living and dining area. It makes the like, dining area look a lot bigger. And uh, you know, some, for some people, they, they, they will prefer it that way as well. So this is something that you know, they have an option uh, to choose from. And this one will be the north facing, so towards Orchard. So um, if you, know, you have clients that are looking specific um, facing types, this is something that you can look at as well. And again, this one comes with um, ventilation in your bathroom. So you'll notice that because of the AC latch, you have a, you have a window here as well. Then stack seven. Stack seven is our slightly bigger 624 square feet layout. This is the only dumbbell layout uh, in the development. So you'll notice that for the two bedroom uh, so far that we have seen, they are all side by side layout whereby both of the rooms are next to each other. So some people, they actually prefer the dumbbell layout because it's very efficient. There is no uh, wastage in corridor. So if you have clients that uh, prefer this kind of layout, they do have this choice uh, in a well queue residences. So uh, as you enter from the main entrance, there is a foyer area. So this is also the only layout type that has a proper foyer. And then you walk through to the L-shaped kitchen, very, very good size kitchen with a window. So again, natural ventilation as well. And you get a very good size living and dining area with your rooms on each side. So for this particular layout, because it's a dumbbell layout, you'll notice that actually uh, the master bathroom can be en suite. It can be turned to en suite. You have a dual entrance from the master bedroom as well as from the dining area. This one would be facing city, so city view. Okay, two bedroom premium. So this one is our uh, show flat unit type. If you have seen the show flat unit type, you will be quite familiar with this. This is in fact our, our smallest two bedroom premium. Um, I, so unfortunately, this is the only bedroom type that I have the A next and the breakdown for it. So this is two bed, two bath. Again, straight through method and very good wide uh, entryway. So you have space for additional storage, semi-enclosed kitchen, and then a good size living and dining area. So you have side by side, the master room and the uh, bedroom two. So bedroom two actually is a very good size. It's 8.4 square meter, sufficient to fit in a queen size bed and you can still fit in a small side table. So it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, all of us know that for new launches, our room sizes are getting smaller. Sometimes um, some of the guest room, you can't even fit in a queen size bed. Once you fit in a single bed, it's already almost um, you know, uh, quite cramped already. So this view, right, actually, if you have seen the perspective that has been sent out, this view is actually facing the facilities and the tree canopies for the lower floors. So it's a very beautiful view. It'll be uh, the south facing view. And then stack 16 is actually a mirror image uh, of uh, stack one. 
So this one, right, the view will be uh, towards the city on the north side, towards Orchard. So same thing, you have your straight through concept with your enclosed kitchen, glass panel, and then your side-by-side -side, uh, bedrooms and bathrooms. Stack 9, Stack 9 will be slightly different, it's slightly bigger. So it's 667, the main difference actually, um, it is the walkway, it's slightly longer. And uh, in, in fact, uh, the view for this is very nice as well because it's directly facing the club pool. So it's a very, very beautiful pool as well. The pool view as well. So I'm not going to go too much into it because it's pretty similar. Okay, this one is something that we probably have to take a little bit of uh take a little bit of notice because this is one of the few stacks for the two bedroom premium that actually comes with the loft unit. So stack two, six six seven square feet. It is a bit different from what you have seen earlier because um it comes with the loft. The loft will be uh eight one eight square feet. So it'll be above your living and dining area. So for people who love high ceiling, you know, this is something that they can go off. For they are very limited loft units for our two bedroom premium. In fact, there are only two. And for this, you have a fully enclosed kitchen with a door, a window for natural ventilation. And for both bathrooms, right, you notice you also have windows at the side as well. And uh, they can do it because these are the corner units. So, same thing, it is also. Um, the tree canopy view, so it's very, very nice. Okay, stack 11. Stack 11 is our biggest unit type. So uh, six, seven, eight square feet. Actually, they are, they are very um, minute differences in terms of the square footage. But uh, however, because of the way they design the layout, right, this is actually quite interesting because again, um, this is the only layout that, you know, you have, you have a foyer. And then you also have a fully enclosed kitchen with a sliding door window and if you notice right your living and dining area will be bigger as well so for some people who like the loft unit this is again another one that comes with the loft and you do have windows in both bathrooms as well okay so in summary this is uh, probably to make things easier for everybody to remember because we have total nine stacks of uh, two bedrooms so to make it easier uh all, uh, all our loft units are basically, okay, all our two bedroom plastic have loft units. They are all on the top floor. And all our guest bedroom, bedroom two can fit in queen size bed. So the only uh, stack that comes with a dumbbell layout will be stack seven. And all kitchen are semi-enclosed with the exception of stack three and stack seven. And the only uh, kitchen with window will be stack seven. And stack seven also has the bathroom that uh, has dual entrance and that you can actually uh, convert it into a, a master bedroom ensuite as well. So with the exception of stack 13, all bathroom two has a window. So um, actually in this summary, um, it's not for you to actually just, um, you know, to tell you that, oh, stack seven or stack three is, is the best uh, unit type. It's just for you to know what is available so that, you know, you can expand your choices uh, for your clients. Then for our two-bedroom premium, only two loft units on the 36th floor. So it's stack two, stack 11. Again, uh, all bedroom two can be in queen size bed. No dumbbell uh, layout for this uh, bedroom type. So it's all semi-enclosed kitchen, except for stack two and stack 11. Uh, they are fully enclosed kitchen. So, uh, uh, and these two stacks also have um, bathroom with windows as well. So in total, it's actually five stacks. So this is the one of my favorite perspective, and this is also the view of uh, the two bedroom premium. Um, so yeah, with that, actually, I again, uh, as much as we know and understand uh, the info from the developer, okay, um, anything that uh, 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 maybe there's a deviation or approximate, uh, uh, we are waiting for the final fact sheet also, lah, okay, so. So don't go and quote us, oh, it's because this IC say this, this DD say this, okay? So we, we just want to say that uh, whatever we share is just to our best knowledge, okay? Ken, please uh, help us, uh, okay, Ken? Okay, let me start. Okay, uh, okay my stack uh, for bedroom three, three bedroom uh, is stack 10, as you can see here. 
and 15. They both are facing north. And it's very nice. Uh, it's facing the cup pool and, uh, and the 15 meter slab pool. And you can see from my arrow, right? Well, it's like uh, really having a good view, unblocked, uh, 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 even to quite far. Lah. I mean, uh, either low floor, you can see the swimming pool, where here, high floor, you can really see maybe all the way to orchard. Okay, so um, for three bedroom, remember what uh, Queen says about this uh, two bedroom premium. See, two bedroom premium is six, seven, eight square feet, right? Okay, so right now, if let's say now, uh, uh, all finish, all sold, then how do you uh, uh, sell your client to take three bedroom instead? Okay, assuming that uh, right now, this six, seven, eight premium, which is a B9, remember is B9, you multiply by 2,009 per square foot, okay? It's around 1.966 already. Eh? Okay, remember my smallest, uh, not say smallest, uh, my three bedroom classic is starting from 2.0x million, right? Okay, so uh, it's just a little bit more. Even if let's say now high floor can go up to uh, 3000 PSF. Okay, if 3000 PSF, so how much are we talking about? Is about 2.034. So it's, it's almost equivalent to a three bedroom that you can, uh, 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 of course, a three bedroom lower floor, lah, so that you can uh, 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 upsell to your client uh, in the event that all the two bedrooms, uh, B9 or B8 is being snapped up. So, so that you have a choice, so that you can close your client and not say bye-bye, take your check and go. So, okay, so this is uh, 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 how you upsell uh, and technique, okay? All right, uh, this is how you punch in all your figures to let them see. Okay, so now remember, uh, this is our three bedroom view, okay? Uh, you can see Ronnie Tower is actually unblocked. There is no blockage. Of course, our show flat is here, okay? So it's a very, very nice view. You tell your client, me my T low, uh, are you by which floor, three bedroom, also correct one? Huh? Because it's all facing the pool, high floor, you can all the, all the way see orchard. Why I say that? Can you see uh, in this uh, diagram that uh, pictures uh, that, that the developer give? You see Ronnie Towers is just 24 story. And then remember Ronnie Tower B, this is B, uh, B. okay? Um, it's also sitting the same elevated, but we are even higher. Remember our uh, tower six, we are at tower six, right? Our tower six is 24 meters elevated from the road all the way to the second floor. So imagine if let's say now you buy 25th floor, I think maybe you are higher than, uh, maybe uh, again, I say maybe, uh, okay? Uh, uh, don't quote me, I, my guess, uh, maybe you can see all the way, very nice view. Yeah, can you see? Is it nice? If nice, say type in five. <laughs> okay, everybody. Come on, we, we, we have some interaction. Okay, so so three bedroom uh, really gives you a very good option for two bedroom. Let's say now, again, I said two bedroom don't have uh, uh, options already. These are very good. Remember, uh, just now, Victor Ng also shared about the one bedroom and one plus study. Uh, sorry, one bar study and a studio. It's also facing this direction. Okay, so again, wow, it's, it's amazing. That's why by whichever facing uh, is male toward. Uh, if south facing, you are facing to the south where you can uh, high floor, maybe later uh, um, you can see uh, MBS or whatever. So remember, your Cosmo also 30th level only. So if you buy high floor, ours is until 36th floor. So everywhere has a view. You either enjoy a pool view or you enjoy a block view. Like, I mean, or, or a low floor, you enjoy uh, a, a more quiet view. Huh? So again, uh, 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 don't um, be discouraged if let's say now on a booking day, low floor gone, high floor gone, uh, then where you should buy. So this is how you should slowly, slowly condition your buyer. Okay, don't let your buyer chow, all right? 
So, okay, right now, uh, let me go through some specs. Okay, uh, for three bedroom, uh, pardon me because uh, there is no show flat and also there is no NXB out yet from the developer. So this is what we can guess only. Uh, uh, not say guess, uh, uh, whatever info we have, we will pass it to you. Okay, right now, you see the toolbox uh, for three bedroom because we are C1 and C2. Okay, your living dining is 2.85. Okay, uh, this one uh, must be very clear, C1, C2. Okay, only uh, our three bedroom premium has a dry kitchen. So it's also a 2.85. All right, the rest you follow this. Okay, according to the typical unit uh, uh, type. All right. Uh, as you know, three bedroom doesn't come with a loft unit because above your three bedroom is the penthouse unit. So the penthouse already occupy that uh, 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 loft space. Okay, just have to take note that three bedroom doesn't have a loft unit. Okay, clear? All right, let's come to the three bedroom uh, layout. Okay, again, um, you enjoy a see-through concept. Uh, straight through, uh, very good for air ventilation. Um, especially if you stay in high floor, you open the door here. Wow, I tell you the, the wind. Okay, and then here got there's a window. Uh, also gives you natural lighting, comes into your foyer area. Okay, and very nice. And this is an enclosed kitchen uh, that you can enclose and walk in. And then it's a very good size. All right, so. Uh, uh, again, what we know, we share with you, okay? For the living room size, as some of you may have been asking, this is 5.2 meters, okay? If you have a pen, paper, please write it down right now, okay? 5.2, and then from here, your width is uh, 3 meters. Okay, 3 meters. It's a very, very good size, even for a classic eh? If you, let's say now, uh, uh, you go to other projects for three bedroom classic. Usually, the this is the usually the layout, the the dining here, the living. But now for our three bedroom classic, they are giving you a wide frontage, so you enjoy a very good view, uh, to the pool. And even if you buy high floor, remember it's unblocked. So, uh, all this it's just that you take note bedroom three. <clears throat> It's slightly smaller. Again, I don't have the full spec, pardon me. Uh, we don't have the full spec. Uh, this one likely can, can fit only a super single bit according to the floor plan here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is your three bedroom uh, classic. Of course, both toilet, enjoy window, good ventilation and lighting coming in. So, in fact, the whole house uh, or even your kitchen here, can you see? It's also window here. So, in fact, your whole house is, should be very well lit up. La. So, don't have to worry. Why? Because remember, remember your, your three bedrooms are seated at the two corners here. Okay? So, seated at these two corners, definitely your front and back will have enjoyed a lot of uh, uh, light things. Okay, can I proceed, everybody? Good, ah? Huh? Everybody is good, ah? Huh? Okay. Can. Thank you for joining us also. All right, so now we go to a three bedroom premium. Three bedroom premium, 127 square feet. Very good size again. Uh, uh, let me share with you the living room size first. Uh. Okay, so from here to here is 5.29 meters. Okay, then from here all the way to your to, 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 to here is. 3.4 meters. Okay, then from your dining all the way to here is 1.95 approximate. Again, approximate, uh, guys. Okay, wait until the full spec come out, then uh, uh, we will know. Okay, so again, you see entry point, then you can build actually a more storage through cabinet. And you have a window here, very well lit. Okay. So it's very nice as well. So when you come in, full privacy, you can see how big is your living and dining. Okay. In fact, here you see your dining table can put a 
six seater or even an eight seater. Okay, if, if you put two more chairs here, it's still ample space to host guests. Uh, now COVID, right? Only can have eight guests. You can have eight guests over uh, and see at the uh, food and makan. Okay, and you can see very wide. You see at 5.29, you can see you can put a three seater and a two seater sofa here. So it's ample space, can put even a coffee table. Remember the, the sliding panel is a six panel uh, uh, balcony. And that balcony size, uh, very nice as well. Here is 1.8 meters. Okay. Good, good size. Who say good? Who say can sell this one? Type nine. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, okay. Uh, 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 why I want to, to say this is because remember your uh, people who, uh, if let's say, la, four bedroom only one stack, right? If let's say now people cannot buy four bedroom, maybe you can propose this. La, okay. Uh, is this is another choice that uh, remember during the brief, I say um, the, 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 the China, Chinese, the Indian, uh, Indonesian, they really like very big space. All right. Again, uh, your bedroom all are very well lit all on one side. And then bedroom, uh, toilet, your yard area, your toilet all has window. So even your kitchen has window. So all, all very, very, very well lit. Or even this one have a proper storeroom or whole household shelter. And remember your master has a his and hers wardrobe. Oh, so it's very, very good concept and very nice. Uh, a three bedroom premium. If let's say now your, your client uh, having a budget uh, uh, of, of three point, is it? we guess la, it's about three point, over three million. Oh, so uh, uh, can, can consider this three bedroom premium. All right. As, as we can, as you all know, uh, for four bedroom, we only have one stack. So this is the only step with private lift. As you can see, the facing is very good. We are facing southeast and we are in the middle of the whole plot. So the view here, we are spanning to this direction, the center and towards the club pool. So it's a consider our premium step. So our show flat also featured the four bedroom, the living room, which look like that, that um, very premium with marble flooring and um, good size master room. So th this is the perspective from the developer. Okay. Okay, so looking at the floor plan is pretty direct because it's only uh, one stack. So the unit here came with the private leaf uh, entrance that do not look into the um, living and uh, dining area, which is a very privacy. Okay, so it's an open um, and wide frontage of dining and the living room. Over to here, if you have seen the show flat, a uh, very nicely dry kitchen with a very nice three meter engineered stone top that is uh, um, provided with a display cabinet, which is uh, um, with LED lighting. Okay, so all the bedrooms we can see from here are very, very spacious and at least a queen size bed for all the bedroom. So over to this corner, what the developer do is, uh, it, it becomes uh, uh, usually for a lot of development, this corner will usually be the guest room or the granny room that come with the, the, the toilet. But over to Irwell Hill, we believe that this corner to our right suits more for the family. And this can be a flexible room whereby it can be a guest room, can be an entertainment room or even a study room. Okay, so uh, it's depending on what the buyer needs. Okay, next, over to the rest of the bedroom, we can see the master room actually come with a uh, very nice uh, ensuite master bathroom. And bedroom two also come with, we consider this as a junior suite. It has an attached bathroom together with the bedroom four. It has an attached bathroom together with the common uh, bathroom two in one, okay? 
very nice layout with no bay window or a usable space as you can see uh, a lot of chinese especially uh, in this area district 9 10 they like very squarish and regular layout so this four bedroom does fit the purpose so it's very uh uh should be a sellable product that we can tell our clients okay next over to the master room, you can also see that uh, you have the his and her wardrobe and the rest of the space here, you can even fit a dresser if you need it. Okay, what's the difference between D1 and D2? You can see from here, I have put two floor plans. Is over to the master bedroom, uh, there's a difference whereby um, D1 doesn't come with the balcony and D2 come with the balcony. Okay, fully equipped kitchen whereby um, you have, uh, look at the kitchen here. Okay, the kitchen here come with a uh, full appliances whereby you have two fridge. Uh, appliances are all from uh, Miller. You even have a wine chiller, dishwasher, and your washer and dryer is separate. That means washer and dryer. Okay, very nice and spacious yet yeah, over to here. Uh, overall, I should say it's very, very uh, efficient. Okay. Next, let's have a closer look on how the two layouts look like. D1 is 1539. Uh, I mentioned the difference is um, without the balcony over at the master room. So what about the sizes for D2? D2, between D2 and D1, the size is only around, um, you can see, 143 and 147, which is the four square meter over to this side. Okay, so how does the buyer need to choose? Um, for D1, we have total 12 units. And for D2, 21 units, span over um, the whole stack eight. Okay. Okay, so far, any questions for the four bedroom type? Yeah. Okay, so next we will move to the penthouse unit. Okay, penthouses. We have two, three penthouses. We also send you guys the four plan. Let's have a look at the penthouses. Okay, this is the site plan for the penthouse. So three penthouses ranging from 2001 to 2006 square feet. Okay. So just now when Sam told you, um, Penthouse 1 and Penthouse 2 are actually four bedroom sitting on 36 story. Okay. General facing will be facing north, which is uh, this direction. Okay. Whereas Penthouse 3, that is our largest penthouse, which is five bedrooms. So these five bedrooms uh, will be facing the southeast direction. All the penthouses uh, should be enjoy very good view because you are on the 36th floor already. Okay, and note that only the penthouse tree come with the private lift. Okay, five bedrooms. Okay, looking at the floor plan over uh, the diagrammatic chart over to here. The unit number for our penthouse one will be 3609. Okay, so the 3609 will be sitting on unit um, stack nine and ten. Okay, later we will go through the floor plan. And for Penthouse 2, it will be 3615. Okay, sitting on 15 and 16. Okay, both are at tower 6, which is facing the orchard direction. You may expect uh, very good views from there, uh, uh, very far distance across away. And for our biggest penthouse, which is the penthouse 3, unit number will be um, 3608, sitting on step 8 and step 1, over to here. So the sky penthouse, penthouse one, you can see total of four bedrooms, okay? So how it goes is as you come in, you have a very large um, living and dining. Do note that the 2185 include the void, which is a 409 square feet. So the 409 square feet will span over to the living, dining, and the dry kitchen area over to here. Okay, so this ceiling height will be four. 4.75 okay 
three bedrooms, the typical, for those who want the master, junior master away from the master room. Remember just now our four bedroom, we do not have this kind of layout. You can recommend if those who really want uh, a junior master away from, from the rest of the room. But uh, penthouse only got, uh, this layout only got one. Uh. Okay, so the junior master is at this corner. Okay, the rest of the bedroom will be at opposite of uh, the living room. Okay, only two bedrooms come with the attached bath. Bedroom three and four will be sharing the common bathroom. Okay, appliances wise are more or less the same uh, for the, uh, uh, likewise for the four bedrooms. Additional, um, as compared to the rest of the four bedroom, which is the D1 and D2, uh, this penthouse one, which is on uh, 3609, has an additional powder room over to here, okay? Very efficiently yeah, uh, for those who want a good size kitchen, uh, dry kitchen, uh, additional store over to here. We have two features as well. So this is the layout for the client, okay? Next, we will come over to the penthouse two. What's the difference between the penthouse one and the penthouse two? Over to the previous slide. Let me go back. Your junior master is away from the rest of the bath, uh, the, the rest of the bedroom. For penthouse two, your master room is away from the rest of the um, rooms. This layout is also very attractive. The reason why is the master room have their own privacy over to here, very large. A master bedroom and the walk-in wardrobe provided as well. Okay. Similarly, two 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 eight square feet sitting on a block six thirty six one five. This is the unit for penthouse two, including a four five two square feet of void. Where is the void? Similarly, on the living and the dry kitchen. Okay. Uh, sneak review. Uh, I this morning I saw the developer plan a little bit. Uh, don't quote me. Yeah. From here, the dry kitchen, this line to this line is 7.7 .7 meters. Very good frontage. Okay, and overlooking to very good view. This view will be towards the orchard view. Okay. So that is the main difference between penthouse one and uh, penthouse two. So depending what your client want to me. And for those clients, in District 910, um, a lot of, uh, some of the buyers will want, hey, I need uh, toilets for all the bedroom. So which um, um, penthouses uh, uh, give you this option? I should say this will give you the option. Take a look at this. The junior master tucked away right at the end of the unit and bedroom three, you have your bathroom, bedroom, bathroom three. And bedroom four, you have a bathroom four. Okay, notice that. And for the guests, of course, they will have their powder room over to this corner. Okay, so this is the main difference between the penthouse one and penthouse two. Okay, lastly, we come to our largest penthouse. If you guys notice, as I said just now, penthouse one and two doesn't have the private lift. So this one is the really the Tokong unit uh, over to this development, but we only have one. So the price of for this one, uh, developer did um, highlight will be more than 10 million. Uh. So what is the actual price? We don't know yet. So private lift over to here. This unit will be sitting on our stack eight. So bit, uh, above stack eight and stack one. Okay. Unit number 3608, 2605. And also including the loft, which is a, uh, 431 square feet above your living, dining, and dry kitchen. Over to here. Okay. So you can see a very wide length of a living, dining, and kitchen with a very nice balcony in the middle. Okay. So for this unit, it comes with five bedrooms. So how does the five bedroom looks like? All the, the rest of the, the master room is over to this corner, which come with a bedroom tree that has an attached bathroom as well. Over to here, 
another three units, uh, three bedrooms, and look at our junior master. It's like a self-contained. It even have a study area over to here. Okay, this one, the star, you can see the footnote over to here. Most likely, this is only uh, for the fire escape purposes. So it's not always, uh, uh, it, can, it should be keep closer. Okay. So because of private leave, you have an additional door behind that leads you to your service leave over at the yard area. Okay. Okay, the, another question uh, many agents have uh, asked um, DDIC uh, whether the wall of the penthouses are knockable because we have PBVC. So this wall, this wall, this wall, or this wall, whichever wall that uh, you think you may want to knock, cannot be knocked, lah, not knockable. Lah, okay, the only one if you want to knock uh, is only the very thin one over to here. Okay, so um, the layout is good at itself already. Lah, so there isn't, there shouldn't be an issue whereby they, they, they really want to knock. Lah. They can always, if they want a bigger one, uh, they can always, for this master room, uh, they can uh, shift the, shift the door over to here. Then this one can be a master study or entertainment room for the master room or extendable walking wardrobe over to here. If they want to close, they want a bigger bedroom, they can shift the door over to here. Okay, which is why I think it makes sense whereby they do two bedrooms over to here and the three bedrooms over to here. So this is a very, very good layout. Um, do not, uh, you, if you go and calculate uh, above um, above 10 million, uh, if you use 10 million and based on uh, 2605, uh, the per square foot is uh, um, 2, 000, uh, 3,800 plus already. Okay, for the penthouse one and the penthouse two, this one, uh, developer indicative price is above 9 million. Okay, if based on this, um, your per square feet, uh, the square footage uh, will be some, somewhere around 4,000 already. Of course, uh, if you really want the very, very good units uh, with a very good view uh, sitting on top of uh, a well bank road, a well hill residences, uh, then you have to pay a price for it. Uh. Okay, so I have come to uh, an, the end of our presentation for the penthouses.